Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about what and how to set up the API in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. API is nothing but the key performance indicator or very efficient indicator that comes back any organization target and real-time performance. When to use KPI? KPI can be used to measure what I may add or behind on or how far ahead or behind I am at. It is basically used to compare the actual which is the target set by the company and this KPI also has the feature to set an alert and you can send it to emails to the users using the Power BI service. Now let's go to the practical. I open this Power BI desktop file. On the visualization tab, you will see this icon as KPI. Click on that. In this, I also two more objects here. That is a table and the record. The table I have seen shown the year sales and profit and the target is 900k so in the KPI there are three parameters indicator trend axis and goal I want to indicate the sale so I have this orders table I'm just trying to drop the sales here for trend axis I want to use the date column so year so calculate year is based on the year and for the target I want to set up the target here target sales target is not mandatory if you want to use the target you can use that and you can see this the total uh, goal is uh, 900k whereas you have achieved 7733 itself so it is showing in the red or the pink color if you achieve the target, then it might have shown in the green color. So for example, I am just changing the target now from 9 to 900 to 700. It turns to green because we achieved the target of 700k. Now reading back. So only these are the parameters available here. If you want to indicate the multiple, you can't able to do that with sales and profit. You can't do that either you need to measure the sales or you need to measure the profit only one parameter in the indicated area the trend axis if you want to put it by month you can't able to do that as well only one parameter allowed here but in the target goal normally people will select only one as a target so let's go into the formatting option in december 2019 microsoft has released a latest updates on the kpi formatting Let's go into the indicator. Display units in auto number and this one. I want to put it by thousand. And thousands are there. Value decimal to be zero. And then the text size 45. If you want to change, you can change. And then the font family. If you want to change, you can change it here. The alignment. These are the latest updates they have given here. If you want to put it right, even you can alignment by horizontal and vertical. And then the trend array, if you want to turn it on, you can turn on, or if you want to turn off, you can turn off. Even you can set the transparency level to be dark or light okay and then the goal if you want to turn on the goal here you can turn on if you want to turn off you can turn off you only can set the rename this one goal to sales target you can change the font color you can change the font family or even you can change the font size as well this is cool yeah and then the distance it means 
the distance of the percent and how much we have achieved and how much is the balance so it is 18.53 percentage shortage the label should be in a percentage or in a value or just a percentage with value this looks cool i think and decimal i don't need the decimal so this much is the shortage and these are the percentage what is the font color and font family if you want to change you can change it here even there is a conditional option available here for each and everything you have the conditional option you can change it here as well and the distance indicator increasing is positive yes or decreasing is positive in this case increasing is a positive there will be cases that if uh, the parameter is you want to set up to zero say for example in a manufacturing industry you want to reduce the repairing cost to zero instead of one lakh or two lakh so you set the target to zero then it has to be decreasing is a positive one like that okay and then the color coding so high is good right in this case high is good so good color is green neutral is this one and bad color is red this is the indicator here even you can use the conditional format in this, this one now let's go to this color coding direction i is good yeah in this case i is good like i said before if you want to make the reduce thing target like to repairing to be zero then low is good here you can change this to low is good then in this case 9000 is the target 900k is the target and 733 is it is less than that so it is changing in green color and small indicator is it has achieved if we said high is good then you say we have to achieve 19 percent extra and it is not at achieved and it is in red color and then the next is the date if you by default it is on if you want on you can on it here it shows the last year the date and font color font family and the font size and title sales and target sales word wrap if you want font color font background alignment text size and then the font family if you notice it has given almost for all the background colors and font color the conditional formatting if you want to set up you can set up as per your requirement i made a video about this condition formatting for other visuals if you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen the next is the background color if you want to turn on you can turn it on you can set up any background color you change the background color you can set up the transparency level so that's it for this december update uh, for this kpi visual if you like this video just click on the thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, please post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.